Hey there guys, I'm just uh, getting a few light bulbs to do a budget light. DIY budget light, been meaning to do this for ages. Um, little star to like get people going. Be particularly useful if, for, uh, if you're in lockdown and struggling to get gear. So in a regular DIY store here, uh, we got our row of bulbs. So you can get six packs here. It's the 13 watt, 1521 um, lumen. Um, 100 watt equivalent bulbs. I'm mean, getting the bayonet type. Uh, so there's lots of others. Uh, 11 watt, 1055 lumens. There's 40 or 5.5 watt, 470 lumens. Uh, skip all them. Just go for the 15, 21 lumens. Um, now, if you're going to go for an equivalent in others, what we're looking for is the 3K color temperature. So it's the warm color temperature. In fact, this is 2.7K, 2700K, uh, and it should have a lumens per watt here somewhere. Anyway, 1521 lumens per 13 watts is about, I think, 120 lumens per watt, um, and that'll do us just fine. Here's the bayonet fittings, so see here they have the pins on the side so we need to get some um, bayonet fixtures light fixtures to fit them into uh, we need six of those okay here we go so you want these guys batten lamp holder and this has got the pins and um, you're going to need six of these we're going to do a grow light for a 60 by 60 centimeter grow area or two foot by two foot area. So we have a two foot by two foot piece of um, half inch or 12 mil ply here. And uh, I've just cut it square. We're going to put the six bulbs on. Um, and for the pull, to pull the wiring through, I've drilled six holes in a pattern here. You can see. And uh, this is for the wiring to go through. I'll show you the wiring in a minute. So just right through, nothing else needed at this stage. Uh, turn it over and the first job is to fix these bayonet, these um, lamp holders over those uh, wiring holes. So just fix them on. You fix them on without the screw holder. So just like this, it's the round bit. You just fix them on. Uh, and you pull the wiring through. So wiring, I started off, I took an old lead off an old device. This is fused, uh, it's got a five amp fuse in it, quick blow fuse, so that'll protect the circuit from shorts, um, and protect yourself and your grow. And I fed that cable through the first hole and into the first fixture and honestly if you don't know anything about wiring you shouldn't really be attempting this this is very basic and if you don't understand it you either need to get somebody that does or um, get up to, to speed on wiring before you attempt this I'm not going to teach you wiring I'm not going to answer zillions of questions about it down below so these are 240 volts it doesn't matter which side you connect it on uh, there's a positive brown and a neutral blue so I've connected one in each one side and then I've also attached into the same terminal a black wire and a red wire and these are going to loop around to this one 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 so there you have it two blacks into one side two reds into the other and that's the same from here to here to here to here to here to here last one obviously just has one set of wires because it's, it's not going anywhere else. Okay, and then, yeah, fix this one in. So now we've got a fused connection to our four bulbs. Uh, they're all fitted in tight. I'm just going to test it now. Switch off, plug in, so 
Good job. Nothing blew. The power's still on here. Nothing has blown, hasn't short circuited, so okay to put the bulbs in. Power back off. So remember those six bulbs were 60 euros. That includes VAT and everything else. I think you can get them cheaper, I'm sure. Leave the comments below. I'm sure those people will get them cheaper. So let's try it with the bulbs in. Switch off the guides first. There we go. So we're all in up. Looks a little bit like those, uh, you know, the stage setups with the mirrors in the old movies in the theatre. Anyway, we're leaving the covers on for the moment. I know you're going to be gagging for me to take the covers off and try them with this, but we're going to test this in our test setup and see how it does for um, power output, for power consumption and power output. So, um, yeah, test coming up now. Okay, so. I've just put in four screws at an angle on the board and I've got these. So it helps you to, to hang it centrally. So it's got a little clip and uh, two like eye ropes. Now I can hang the board evenly on uh, single fixing and be high and level. It's not changing that much. Still reading about 300. It loves to get higher directly under the bulbs. So about 900. Maybe raise it up a bit. 600 directly under a single bulb, 400 in the middle between the bulbs, 130 in the back corner there. Uh, it'll do for now. We'll try this. We'll probably hang it higher with the, um, the caps off, but uh, we'll try this for now and just do a little power mount. going to take our readings for this fixture. First of all it's consumed watts so 6 by 13 is 78 so exactly that 78.5 uh, consumed watts from the six bulbs so that's perfect. Let's write that down. So 6 by 13 watt Phillips uh, 2700k 78.5 watts consumed. Uh, let's see what the hanging height is. Oh. It's eight, eight, cent, eight centimeters or um, three inches. Eight centimeters, and then we're going to. You can see here there's two foot by two foot, or sixty by sixty centimeters, and then in each foot square, we're taking four measurements. So basically, it's four measurements by four measurements. You can draw that here. So we're going to close up the doors. Switch off the other lights and uh, test this now. Let's take a few minutes.
289. And so 289 uh, micromoles per meter square per second average over 0.6 meters by 0.6 meters is uh, 0.36 meters squared. So 289, uh, average power 289 multiplied by the area is 104 micromoles. Uh, that's been output onto that 2 foot by 2 foot area and 104 divided by 78.5 watts equals a 1.32 micromoles per watt efficiency so let's run through that again uh, 78.5 watts consumed here's the power map uh, Add all them together, divide them by 16. So 4630 divided by 16 is 289 micromoles average. Uh, 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 meters squared is 0 0.36 meters squared. Uh, and to get 104 micromoles by multiplying the average micromoles by the area. And then divide the number of micromoles by the consumed watts, and that gives you the efficiency 1.32 micromoles per watt. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Uh, now, for the big one, which is to take the tops off the lamps and uh, see does removing the diffusion covers improve that efficiency. So, let's go and do that. Okay, so there's a element of danger here. First of all, these are running quite hot after being running for a while. But I um, kind of have to get in here and cut these off. These, uh, these dome covers. So, simplest way is with a hacksaw. easy you could use um, maybe a kitchen knife with a serrated blade as well it's quite thin the plastic and flexible so I'm going to do all these and then we'll uh, come back okay so I've cut all those off here they are a few tops cut off them exactly the same positions we're gonna hang now and um, Put this back up and test again. So actually, I'll put you back over there. Okay, this is a, it's a very good result. So uh, again, six by 13 watt Phillips, 2700K, color temperature, uh, no diffusers taken off, 81.2 watts consumed. It's 11 centimeters from the top of the sensor to the underside of the cutoff bulb. Here's the power map. Uh, add them all together, 6450 divided by 16 is 403 micromoles per meter square per second average. By the area, 0.36, so it's 145 micromoles per second coming out, coming onto this area. 145 divided by 81.2 watts is a 1.78 micromoles per watt efficiency. So, yeah, there you go. So that, um, that average of um, 403 micromoles in a 2 by 2 is uh, perfectly good um, for growing and of course all you need to do is add on extra bulbs um, you know you look at this uh, this fixture here there's plenty of room you could have um, you could have nine or twelve 
bulbs in there if you wanted to. You could go up to um, 800 micromoles per meter square per second with, with uh, 12 bulbs. Um, downsides, so uh, wiring is exposed up here. You could um, pour acrylic or resin in there, seal them up. You could cover this whole thing in plastic. Uh, the LEDs are exposed, but it doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, there's only low voltage on this side. Um, biggest one is probably electrical. But again, it doesn't really matter for the consumer. So have a look here. And you can see this. But uh, 225 volts, 0.6 amps in this setup. Power factor, they are uh, 0 0.57, 0 0.57 power factor. Now that doesn't really matter for the domestic person. Power factor is complicated to explain, but basically means your electricity supply is not um, synced well. Or these devices, the way they consume the power is not synced well with your electricity supply. And uh, in commercial premises, you get punished for that because they measure power factor. Um, domestic I don't think they do so it doesn't really matter so yeah it's a uh, nice cheap easy efficient reasonably safe um, DIY grow light hope you enjoy